I think it's really interesting. You get to learn a lot of um, new things about things we've not really thought about in the past. Um, like things like sustainability, you don't think about it every day, but there's a lot of sustainability all around. We went up to see the John Lewis site and we got to use the live vision goggles. <laughs> we visited St James's Centre um, to see how what they were doing in the construction work they were going through the plan and then some of the team members came into the school and told us what they were doing. Uh, today what we're doing is we are designing a sustainable classroom for the community to use. We are talking about what we could have in that sustainable classroom that will benefit the community and how will we make it eco-friendly. What have you learned in the start of the course? I've learned multiple jobs in the course like engineering, planning and other uses. This course is pretty fun how we get to know how to use eco-friendly stuff and like get to know architects and other people. Coffee mornings. I am surprised about uh, how many people are involved in making our big building and all the different jobs you need. Uh, we've met all different kinds of people, uh, such as architects uh, to people from the plumbing industry. We went up to John Lewis and met people who introduced us to the product and told us a bit about their background and knowledge. Um, we went up to the St James Centre and got to learn about the building. We got to use these cool equipments that would like simulate what the building would be like. Um, we got to go and have a look at the St James site as well, what they're currently doing, and we got to have a look down at it from the bridge. Oh, we also got people in from um, St James Centre and they told us all about what they do and what their role is and um, how sustainability fits in with that so we were able to make a presentation. They're about designing an eco classroom that makes use of sustainability to make it efficient and multifunctional to the public. And we've been trying to think outside the box of what we're going to put in it and who's going to use it. We've had to research the local community to see what sort of things would be useful. Uh, I am preparing a brand craft. I'm telling at what times I'll be doing what will the building be in use for. And these are just three questions. Who will use the facility? What will we use it for? What will the space have that will meet the needs of people? So I've got stuff like the general public, teachers, cleaners, and local businesses, mothers and toddlers, toddlers and homeless people.